Okay, let's go to the computer. I see you now. Hi. Hello. Well, cool. thank you for meeting me here. Um, uh, I would like to start by just making sure that we center, grounded, and bubble. No, yeah, I'm just gonna take a, a moment to arrive here to this space. <clears throat> My grounding core is like this light purple, like shiny purple. Uh, like a like pink and red, pink. Mm, thank you. Mm -hmm. Uh, I wonder, are you able to hear me okay? I'd just like to, I'd like to invite in some. Uh, sorry, you cut off a little bit. Maybe go ahead with what you were saying. Um, yeah, I can hear you good. And I just said uh, I'd like to call in some bright principles. Can you hear me okay? Yeah. Um, so calling in yeah, clarity. I read your lips that I said passion, but I couldn't hear you. but I like passion. I heard you say passion. Yeah, I, I, I read your lips that, he said, that you said passion, but I, I couldn't hear you. I think there's something uh, a little bit slow with the audio or with the connection. And I was just closing all of my applications to make sure that I only have this one open. Okay. Uh, if I press too many buttons, I'll, I might lose my picture. So I'm just going to leave it be because, yeah. Okay. I, I just have one for doing this. Yeah. So I said, yeah, kindness, uh, compassion, truth, passion. Uh, do you have any you'd like to add? Yeah, yeah. Uh, clarity, friendship, the love, and something like transformation, transformation, connection, and transformation. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have that workspace here. If you can help me create it too, that'd be great. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, all these bright principles are in the space. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Meeting's done. Let's take it away with all those things and live forever. <laughs> All the time, love all of the time or something. <laughs> but when, then when does the transformation come in? So let's do it. <laughs> yeah, so um, I was thinking about like the purpose of, of this for me, of this meeting, of meeting you, of um, bringing into some clarity about our relational space. Like it's like creating like that. Like this is what's happening for me, or or this is what this is for me. 
and for you to, uh, I don't know if this uh, connects with your intention of this space. Mm -hmm. And yeah, this is where, like, kind of like where I, where I like to to go today, explore the territory of our relational space, uh, where where it's sad right now, and and I don't, yeah, like even that will be that will be big, like like getting where where it's sad right now. Yeah, and with the purpose of like bringing clarity to to what's happening, to to how can how can it be a play a relational space that where we're both winning, where where we're both being empowered, where we're both moving forward. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I feel that I hear that that feels like the biggest intention for this meeting um for clarity and like clearing up our relational space in the way that um yeah I hear heard you say in the way that we're both winning and empowered in this work um yeah that feels like the 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 most important intention to work through or topic. Um, and then I, can I add to that right now? Just to lay it on the table. Uh, uh, just completing some incomplete communications that transpired over the last uh, month. If they they come up, just, I didn't write them down, but there, there, there feels like a few conversations that we started or um, experiments that we were working on and sh perhaps sharing them in this time as well. Yeah, I hear you. I, the sensation that I'm getting right now is that because we're working on, on our own relational space and there is not a third party, mm -hmm. there's not like a, like a witness or like somebody is holding space for, for this is kind of like like trying to buy yourself with your own teeth something like that trying to buy your own teeth uh, okay. like, um and uh, this is an expression that i read recently but something like um like w what's coming that is more most available right now is is putting putting my underworld on the table or putting my underworld of what's been going on for me. Mm -hmm. And and I will invite you to to do the same. Maybe we can like have like a time where I can do that and then a time where, where you can do that. Mm -hmm. And still the, the uh, yeah like uh, ideally completing communication uh, throughout the process. And how, how does that sound for you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So working on um, completing communi some communications and and also um, like sharing where we're at in our underworld and um, taking some time each to do that. Yeah, that works um, for me. I want to go into that and also it, during this conversation acknowledge if there is um old emotions that come up later and opportunities for doorways for ehps i guess like we'll just take note of them and put them down um well the, the first yeah, thing i wanna i just wanna i wanna yeah. just bring in a distinction that there there is a sort of way that that I've been enmeshing myself with you and that our, our relationship gets enmeshed when, when we use we unconsciously. And when okay. we use we uh, as something that, that is uh, like something or like that is like a, like we, like it's something that we agreed on or something. So that I think the distinction is that there is no responsibility in we. Uh, so I invite you to, my invitation is for you to, 
to speak from from your eye and and like to really like let it let it emerge like that that's powerful like the, if you speak from from your eye if the the problem that i'm seeing if you speak from we that it becomes fuzzy and it becomes unclear on who is doing what or what's happening thank you for that distinction yeah i that's a first for me to kind of understand why now behind why not thing we is that there's this aspect of, of not taking responsibility it's like there's an enmeshment who who is responsible here so speak speaking from the eye and um yeah i agree to that to the best of my awareness and i am fully open uh to others when if i say we just correct just correcting or pointing it out i'm i'm fine with i'm open to that i like that awareness Uh, so as I was saying, I if I feel that I'm speaking of something that is an old emotion, then I will <clears throat> note it as an EHP, or you can bring it up as a doorway, or I'm okay with you bringing it up as a doorway. And if we choose to go into it, I would ask um, permission if that comes up in this phone call to hold a space for it and likewise i'm if that comes up for you i'm open to mm -hmm. that okay mm -hmm. all right thank you yes <clears throat> so do we want to put do we start by putting our underworlds out on the table or yeah, do you have an impulse if you want to go first, if you'd like to get started? Yeah, I just, I think I might pass it over to you. I feel to acknowledge your last uh, text message, which clearly stated that um, you were reminding me of this boundary of specifically over texting, communicating via text. And that if this continued that you would walk away and so i just want to acknowledge that um i have i have read that thank and you signed the agreement <laughs> just acknowledging it like i have been i i hear that 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 boundary mm. yeah thank you for acknowledging that and it, to me, it's like two completely different relating spaces, like the, the space of relating on the text message and the space of relating on, on voice and on, on on video and in person, they're completely like like night and day or something like that. They're they're two different two different spaces. Yeah. I feel that. Cool. So it's doesn't bring much fulfillment in text messaging it doesn't even really land on a body not even the mind body <laughs> like it doesn't feel it's like a false connection inside the brain that goes Ding! Mm -hmm. like a drug it's not real okay mm -hmm. yeah thank you um i want to yeah i want to i want to start and mm -hmm. I'll just set up to uh, to speak for like twenty minutes. I don't know. That sounds like a lot. Like for twenty minutes, I'll I'll be sharing for twenty minutes. Like with yeah, twenty minutes or within or yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so it's five twenty-two right now. I'll just set up a timer so that I can. I, it's kind of like more clear for me. All right. And this is about my my underworld and what has been happening with me and my my spaces with you. Uh, we we have uh, 
or yeah, we, I'm in this team with you, with uh, with two other people that we're meeting uh, every Monday. Or, yeah, we're meeting every Monday, and there is also our our the team that we have with Melissa and. And for me, it has been, it's a journey. I think it's like the, my, my trigger where I'm getting hooked in my underworld is in the text messaging, the messaging. And, and there, there is actually something else also that's available now. And, and it's a way that I've been relating with you where I become your your father or this authority figure. And I get fed from that. I get like really fed from being the authority figure, being uh, being the kind of like this savior or this like healer or this um, uh, saint man, this like saint and, and this father figure that has like some sort of like clarity uh, and this is like my, my underworld that gets fed from from uh, my interaction with you uh, and it comes uh, as this like like form of like superior man or like like superiority where um i know and and in a way like you're still learning like you're you're still learning or you're you're in not inferior, but you're you're this you're this being, this container that's receiving my my knowledge or something like that. And it, it seems like completely innocent and completely like uh, what is the word like like bene, 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 benefactor, like beneficial or benevolent. Seems like all benevolent. Uh, <clears throat> But it has that, that underlying that underlying tone for me oh, that that it goes into the underworld where where I, I go like right into my uh, my domination where I'm where I'm right I am right and 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 whatever whatever I'm thinking is so good this is so good like whatever is happening up here is so good and and. And it, it's amazing and it's useful. When I'm with you, I feel so useful. I feel like, wow, like all of this stuff that's here is so useful and all of my being is so useful and is so valued. And part of that is amazing. Like, like, uh, yeah, no, like it's like getting me to see my, my value and getting to see my, my value in the world. And that's been a like life-changing uh, reflection for me to be seen, to be seen uh, with, with, uh, as a, a high value person of high value or like somebody that has value or like a valuable thing that that my ideas are valuable that my touch is valuable that my words are valuable and and there is this way in which i i'm, I'm using that to, to kind of feed this energy of controlling you or dominating you or or of being, uh, yeah, like in like owning you, like yeah, like like telling you how you should be doing, like what you should be doing next, and what you could be doing. How, how is this landing so far? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's all landing. I'm hearing it. Yeah. Right. So. Uh, when it comes to the, the text messages, it, it, it's like in this uh, speed that, that it is like, because we're not in the same space, uh, like you're in your space and I'm in my space and there's a text messages coming and uh, I'm receiving it and I'm in this, like probably in this bubble of uh, superiority where I feel uh, superior and and like everything is good like there is nothing to change i'm in love and there is nothing to change like i'm perfect something like that and and then like the 
what what's happening for me is like a like a, the this synchronization with the text message like there is a an or there is like a, a place where i start trying to figure out your text messages i started to say like oh what what is is really being asked here like what what is she wanting what is, what is being asked what is the what is the communication that is happening and that takes me time that i said like okay i'm gonna like see this i'm gonna see what this is and it, it takes me time to to see that and it seems like in the time that it's taking me to see that like there is like more coming in more coming in uh like other other messages coming in and uh, and it's like I'm, i start figuring it out and then other messages come in and then something is changed like and then there is this like why aren't you replying why aren't you sending messages and then there is a I keep getting like more like like I'm still trying to figure out the first messages and like there has been a whole evolution of emotion and emotional process and now it's like in this last message which is like completely different from the first message and uh, and I'm still kind of like seeing like how do I respond to the first message and and I get stuck in there I get like like I get stuck some somewhere in there and then I get I get triggered uh, because of the because I, I'm not enough because I I'm not replying because I'm not uh, being of value to you because uh, because I'm being called names because uh, I'm being called uh, uh, unkind uh, uncompassionate irresponsible um, uh, among other things and so it, it's like like touching in, in my buttons like it's tick 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 and, like, and then my being goes into like this like paralysis where i'm like i go into the other side of where i'm like hiding i'm irresponsive i low energy um and i i hate you and i hate you uh and you're you're this figure in my being that that is like kind of like like sending messages and you don't have anything else to do other than sending messages and that uh, and you become like this figure that is like like it gets like stuck in, in my mind that that figure and and I, and uh, and, I, and I feel like I feel sad about I feel sad about like what's happening about like all of that that process that's happening uh, uh, this connection and and also like there is like a, my gremlin eats it up like I use it to 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 uh, to retrieve to withhold and to like move back and say fuck like this is never gonna work this is. Uh, it's all bullshit. Like you're good for nothing. Like, like she just wants to use you for for your things and then uh, throw you away. Uh, so I start getting like this, this information from or these stories spun up from my gremlin to disempower myself to to stay where I am, and and also with the uh, hidden like the hidden purpose of like withholding my love from you which is my my ultimate weapon that is so easy yeah. like, uh, like i just withhold and it hurts me it kills me and it, it, and i can't talk to you because i'm i'm still kind of like hooked to the first message and uh, i'm seeing like what's happening with all of that and then uh yeah like yeah, and then like getting getting like super triggered and not being able to 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 even want to be on a phone call with you or even like like take fifteen minutes for a call or or anything like that. Can I ask a question? And when that's happening in your body. I'm feeling it in my body as like, like I'm feeling some anxiety, I'm feeling some fear, and I, I'm wondering, like you spoke it, like it sounds triggering, and I'm wondering, like how it feels, yeah, in your, in your being when that's happening.
does it feel like like a trauma? Does it feel? Mm. Uh, yeah, I, I describe how it feels like, yeah, it's this like, like heaviness, heaviness here, but there's like a numbing mechanism that kind of like, it's like doesn't let me feel it. And yeah, I don't know. I don't have really access to, to the, the doorway. Um, but it's like, I, I get this, this voice saying like, faster, faster, faster. Uh, uh, look at me, look at me, look at me. Uh, uh, and, and I get triggered because it, it's, it's not that, like it's not for my, it's not for my being. Something is like trying to hook my being. And, And I wonder, like, how how I create how I create this, like, how how do I make myself available to 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 that? And uh, and and what is, what is the benefit for me to do that? And and I think that that there is this this part of me that. Yeah, and I, I feel like you're asking me about my feelings, like how, how I feel, and it's just like a mix of sadness and and fear. And then the, the anger comes to when, when it's like when it's getting too close, when it's like getting like too close, too close, that I, it's like like wanting to touch my being and like allow those things to come in. It's like the anger comes like, Wah! no, that's not me. Like, fuck you, back off. That's not yours. Like, this is my space. So when it's like this, getting closer, yeah, like that's where the anger comes in. And uh, just before before that, there is like fear. There is like fear, like, the, like fear of of failing, fear of of failing and not knowing what's happening, and and also like sadness that sadness that all of the assumptions are being made, or sadness that that uh, that I don't have enough time, or that that I'm that I'm in such a mess. Uh, yeah, with sad, sadness that. Yeah, so there's like this mix mix of emotions for like mechanicality of the emotions. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'm just noticing that now. Of like there is that fear and sadness, and and then when when it gets too close, that it's gonna touch my being. Like my anger comes and say, back off. Uh -huh. Um, yeah, I felt I heard your anger. I heard you say, "Back off! This is my space," and like I heard that, I heard your voice in that text, and I was like, "Okay, like it, okay," and I felt like a respect. Okay. Yeah. And yeah, where I'm at right now, that that is like like I'm owning my underworld and I'm not owning what's happening. And uh, and I I was able to use my anger in that text message. Like yeah, I feel angry that this is happening uh, again, and I don't want this again in our space. Uh, back off. And then I was able to move on to the next thing. Okay, like I want to connect with you for two hours. And there was like a yeah, like a clear distinction between those two. Mm -hmm. and that mm, yeah that, that's kind of I still like feel like there is a part of me that's that's hooked and that wants to see you in this in that in that in that in that shape that I kind of that I that is like like the image that I have when when these messages come in where it's like and and I feel like there is a, like a part of me that's stuck with with that and I wanted to have this call to to get unstuck from there to 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 see you and be in connection with you and all, with that image that that's there. That's my fifteen minutes. Okay, that's fifteen minutes. Do you? Mm. 
Do you feel like sharing more? Or... Hmm? Uh, you seen if you if you're able to repeat uh, what 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 landed for you or what what you heard? Yeah, can you repeat what you heard? Yeah, yeah. So it first um you were sharing about like our relational space, like. You feel a lot of times that you're sharing with me and almost like teaching, almost like a saint. And then I'm like agreeing and I'm, I'm feeding you back and, and it feels good for you because you're feeling you're valued. You're feeling you have purpose. It gives you a, a boost. Um, but then there's this feeling of like this power, this dominance and submission where it's like you're either an authoritative figure or a father figure and I'm being submissive and um, yes, yeah, yeah, I'm just uh, just acknowledge letting that land more um and then wondering if there's more to say there yeah there's there is a bit more coming coming for me about the the unconscious purpose for that okay um it, it, my unconscious purpose is that i'm using my emotions to relate with you that I'm using my my wounds to relate with you. I'm using like this, uh, like uh, kind of like what what my mother wasn't able to do for me. Uh, I'm I'm using that to relate with you, and it's not actually relating with you in a conscious way. It's it's about the past, uh, and it's about like like. Uh, as, like asking you unconsciously to 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 heal my wounds or something like that. Mm -hmm. Like it's not a it's not a conscious asking. It's not like a can you hold space for me to to heal my wounds? But it's like a like that's the basis of my relationship with you. That you will like that you will be my mother. Something like that. That you will be my mother in the in 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 my wounds. And and that you will be my partner, so that you will see me as as a man, but that you will also hold me as a child. And there is that 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 grounding uh, of what I feel in my relational space with you that that goes into these two different dynamics. Yeah. And it creates a, a confusion uh, because because. Um, it, it, because it's both like I'm your partner and I'm your your child. And then when when I when I am in my child mode, then uh, and you want me to be the, the partner or you want me to be the man, then 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 I get I get triggered because I'm I'm my child now. Like you're supposed to be holding space for me as a child, and, and like there is this thing. Why do you treat me like this? And and there is like all these like like stories that I used my that that child part of myself to to yeah to relate with you that I'm a, a wounded child and 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 that I'm expecting you unconsciously to to hold space for me as a child and to to treat me good to be nice to me and to to tell me how things are, how my value is, what's good for, for the world. And uh, just to be seen from, from like a mother figure or something like that. And it's very, it's completely unconscious. Mm -hmm. and yeah, because I'm, I'm just getting to see it now with more clarity. So, because I'm I'm heal like holding space for this wound or or even like I'm playing in this game in this interaction with you 
and I'm here and I'm showing up and I'm like having this emotional availability for you in a really big way all the time, whenever and like I'm fulfilling this need and but it's like unconscious because you're coming at it like a child. I'm wondering And I'm just offering it. I feel like I'm just offering it. So I'm wondering if like, yeah, as a man, if you offer, like asked, per, like asked, ask for it as a man to hold these places for holding space for your emotions or being there, if, if that is more empowering. Yeah. And, and, the like what you're bringing up is kind of like a solution or like a and i think that there is two parts to it there is like my my underworld like where am i at in my underworld and is this like wounded child and this um, holy holy man and 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 there is like how how you're being reacts to my child, how you're being reacts to my being, and, and how like your there is your underworld, and there is my underworld, and there is like there is how how we are interacting in the underworld. Uh, so yeah, like this will be for for you to like, like when when you when it's your turn to put it into the space like that you can put it. Uh, for me, like yeah, like my what I want is to, to have a clear clarity in our relational space. And this is bringing clarity that that's where I'm at, that, mm -hmm. that I am, that I'm asking you unconsciously to hold space for me as my mother, by seeing me, by supporting me, by agreeing with me, by holding me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I didn't hear that it cut off. It just froze there for a second. Yeah, you're back. Um, mm -hmm. I see how I was, I, I could feel that was a solution I was giving. And in, instead of the solution, there, I can see where I can maybe give an experiment. And maybe we'll save that towards the end. Will you say no? Uh, experiment. Like there I was giving you a solution, like saying, okay, so like, the experiment could be, um, something like, well, it feels like it's for me because I'm so readily available to like be there as a mother for you emotionally and like want to be there so much that it feels strange even. Like I want to be there to like, like hold space for you for your emotional wounds. And... Maybe the experiment could be for me to back off and allow you for asking of it and like from a more empowered place of. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Like even in providing a solution or an experiment, like you're kind of, you're, you went from we went from me sharing the the underworld and you uh, completing the communication to you like uh, creating a wanting to change where I am. Okay. Or, like, you wanting to change where I am or who I am or I mean, you want to change my box. Mm hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to like fix this underworld um, uh, relating, and I I can mm -hmm. see that. So and also that's not the purpose of right now. This is like mm -hmm. the listening space and putting it out. Mm -hmm. there so and that's the purpose of recording too because more can come later so yeah I hear that I just want to feedback the rest of what you were sharing is this a good time because I didn't get to reflect back all that you had said yes yeah yeah unless you had something else coming in that moment I just want to drink a bit of water oh yeah you drink yeah and this is water with a bit of <laughs> no vodka um yeah so that was the the relating from these different like hierarchical levels almost um what we've been sharing and then you went deeply into sharing about um the text message relating and um yeah how how it feels to you and you're, you're getting ready to respond 
and then like you you're trying to decode it and figure it out and then all of a sudden more come in and then 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 there's confusion I don't know if you said confusion but uh, this is this word that's going confusion um so then yeah and then they're coming in and there's this part of you like when it's really coming in you're feeling like this anger and also there's this image of me that starts to come up that's almost like this other kind of being or entity that like is like oh like I hate you I heard you say that like you hate this this thing and then yeah um so then you go numb and you back away from it um it's like I heard you say these words of like faster faster look at me yeah um and yeah. so you back away you feel numb you feel the sadness yeah and there is a uh, um over the uh, uh what do you say oh, I lost it uh Oh, there was something that you were saying that, that brought up, like, there is a, another, like, a mechanism too in there. And I, yes. I just lost it. I was saying, faster, faster, look at me. And I was saying, I even, there's this entity and I hate you even, mm -hmm. this thing. Faster, faster, look at me. Numb, I said you go numb. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I feel hurt and, like, there is, a, yeah, like, there is a connection, like, there is this... Uh, this first message I'm trying to decode it and the next message comes in the next message comes in and and I'm getting like uh, overwhelmed and triggered with and confused yeah you said it like with all of these and there is a sen like, sense of fear and then sadness and then uh, when it gets like right to my core is the anger that just like, oh. it's like no and, and oh yeah like I I, re I retrieve I, I numb myself this is where it was. Uh, yeah, like a, oh yeah, like a, I wait, I wait for the emotional reactivity to pass. So kind of like I just wait it out. I wait it out for for your emotional reactivity to to do what it needs to do to send the messages that it needs to send, and then when when it stops, uh, I'll figure it out. So yeah, that's what I wanted to say. Mm -hmm. yeah, like, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, like a part of me wants to ask if there's like, and I ask those questions if it feels like trauma, like beyond trigger, if it's hitting like a trauma response part in you. And, and I guess like part of me wants to ask if there's something you need in that, like if there's, there's something that you're being needs in that moment. And we can just... You can answer it or we can just leave it in that space. Yeah, th thank you for that question. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I don't have clarity about it, about what, what, what I need. And part of me wants to say space, but like I, I can get that. And what I need is, um, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm getting that that is different things at different times. Like and, and yeah, like the maybe it's when my body's not fed, and when I'm vulnerable or something, or yeah, when I'm needing something and I I get this other thing instead. Yeah, yeah. I'm not, I'm not sure what it means. Okay. Yeah. Just just to have that question in the open and I feel like it's it's partly like in in like sensitivity to understanding trauma mm -hmm. uh, and, you know knowing if someone's in a triggered state or if going into like almost like a traumatic response I like want to do my best not to like push it further or aggravate like trauma more while being still responsible like 
this is what I'm learning right now. Like you're you're still being responsible for what you what you need. But there's this way that I could we don't need to find this solution now or something, but just like a way that I can be more informed of your trauma if there is some around here. <laughs> and yeah. And if this comes up later or journaling or something like this, I just want to put that out there. Mm, thank you. Okay. Yeah, I, what I'm getting right now is and it's like a physical or like a yeah, like in my body is a, a trauma that happened with my with my mother mm -hmm. of uh, <clears throat> and school of being yeah being uh being demanded like my mom would like demand from me and uh, and she will use the like the same the same threats and tones and um of like demanding things from me that i uh, that i didn't want to do or things that i i wasn't trained to do um and yeah, it triggers that it triggers that wound inside of me, or that my mom is expecting things from me that uh, that I, I don't want to do, that I that I I don't want to do the homework. I don't I don't want to like fucking do the multiplication table again. Uh, this this kind of thing. Okay. And I don't know what the, I I think the the doorway. Yeah, I'll, I'll find a, a doorway for that. So it's, it's kind of like mm, like uh, I I don't want to do what my mother is asking me to do something like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Demands. I heard you say demands that yeah. your mother. And having these expectations and telling you to do something and yeah, and it's like a, yeah, it's a, it's abusive. Like it's it's just yeah. like completely not considering where I'm at or my being or or what I want or my curiosity. It's just like you have to do it. You have to do it. You have mm -hmm. to re you have to respond to my messages. You uh, you have to be here. You have to meet me. Something like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, these yeah. yeah, it sounds, I heard you say it feels abusive. Like this demanding. Yeah, it feels abusive. Yeah. And not considerate of where you're at. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, so like, like a request, you know, like where are you at right now? Do you have space to call? now or in the next few days or something mm -hmm. yeah. thank you thanks for completing this yeah this, 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 yeah. this so, is like creating more clarity it's creating more clarity about my relational space with you okay great what are we okay so this is about 25 minutes probably or something yeah so so let's uh so was your idea now to go to into my underworld? Okay. Yes. Yeah. I'm scared. Yeah, I'm gonna drink a bit of water, and I can my keep the. Yeah. Mm. Look at that smile on my face. <laughs> I did this through school, laughing and squirming out of my seat. So scared. <sighs> so joyful. All mixed up. Are you ready Ooh. for? Mm -hmm. I can keep a timer for you if you want. Yeah, that'd be great. And I set it to like fifteen minutes, and then we'll do like a process like my like I can repeat back what I heard you say. And that's great. It allows for like if there was anything missed, boom, we do it that way. Mm -hmm. Okay. I like that. Um, geez, sometimes I have a hard time accessing it. Can you trigger me? <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
um just like got to get into it okay grounding cord <sighs> so yeah so the 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 holy the journey through these emotions that came up present in the underworld um it started with yeah it started with this 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 beautiful sadness that I had that was like like all over me it was a very present feeling I'm just gonna speak into it so I can access my underworld like where the hurts came in so this sadness I was having and I wanted to share it with you because it was a really present feeling. Yes, there was past emotion attached, but the present sadness felt like it had so much like beauty and love in it. Like, and this like deep, deep desire to like connect with you and share it, you know, in a way that I haven't so much in my life shared sadness and emotional intimacy with a, a man before and this feeling of like feeling like you were there and that you were like gonna be there to hear it and that you were you were like now available like as a person in this space holder or as a, as a man that like wants to hear a woman and hold space for her her feelings and <sighs> so yeah it was just, like full of these like so much that I wanted to share and then there's just this like, crushing letdown that happens and it happens I'm going to the underworld now and it's um, based on like these stories that come up that oh he's not available oh he's so busy and there's so much confusion happening because I'm not even asking you for anything so I'm just making these assumptions that he doesn't have time for me if he cared he would reach out to me I don't want to always reach out. Why do I have to reach out? Maybe he'll just like reach out to me because he loves me. Mm. Mm. So there's this like dialogue happening. And then, so then I like finally, I'm like, okay, I can't take it anymore. I'm going to reach out. And then, and then I get a 15 minute phone call and then the space doesn't feel held for me in that 15 minute phone call to share. And I, I fuck up so much and I like just get confusing because I'm like in 15 minutes, like how do I even get this out? And there's kids crying and what I want to share feels so much more like needing space to hold. Um, so, so yeah, the sadness is like so big because I just want to like share with this person that I love. I just want to share, like, I just want to share my feelings because it's all coming from love and I love this person. And then, uh, yeah, this, I don't, oh, then I go and like share my sadness with someone else. Like a woman shows up. I have women in my life. So blessed. But then, then I'm angry because the man still hasn't shown up for my sadness. So, fuck. So then, oh God, I have this question if I'm doing this right, if I'm speaking my underworld right. So then I have this fear, this fucking big fear is if I am doing my class like even my homework am I even doing this right am I even answering the question I'm wrong I'm wrong what's coming up right now in my fears and I'm like totally distracted because I'm trying to like focus on what I'm supposed to be doing but all I can think about are 
all these emotions, all these emotions that are happening or feelings that have gone unheard and unmet. And so I'm like, even sitting in school, like right now, even almost like, like I'm not even paying attention to anything because everything's so overwhelming. So that's my underworld. I went into it this weekend. There was like workshops happening and all of the things happening around me. And I couldn't even be present for what was in front of me because I'm backlogged of like, I didn't get to talk to this person this that I love. He's gone. He's absent. He's not there for me. And it's this like, yeah, it's this like painful, painful story of neglect. And then the neglect, yeah, it kicks in. And then I start to neglect myself. And that's like, this is this whole other learning that I'm on right now. So yeah, so then my house is a mess and my like car is a mess and my hair on my chin hasn't been plucked and I'm just messy. And yet I'm just stuck in this emotional, like these emotions of like, yeah, so like this. So then I miss out on um, opportunities around me, like what's happening in the present. Like it's all like, even there's these like, wow, like there's this person here, you like, really good possible connection and over here this person but I'm like just stuck in this deep hole I'm neglecting it's just this word I hear coming up everything around me because I am focused on this person that I love not showing up and uh now I'm now I'm getting angry at this person. Now I'm like it's going angry. And now this person is like this person is becoming my enemy. And this person is like my dad. And this person is yeah. abusive through their neglect and not coming and showing up. Mm -hmm. um so then oh fuck yeah so so now I, i've now i've hit like a traumatic place uh now i've i've, I've oh now i've like completely like fucked up changed my plans for the day because i made unclear communications with someone confused because i'm confused and now I've made unclear communications with someone and I've, I've now like left where I was where there was a potential for magic <sighs> to have this phone call, which like was my priority and my like heart and my love. And I was happy to leave where I was, but then that, that phone call doesn't happen. And now I've sacrificed an opportunity. And so in my reaching out to this, this, this like, like what's like hey I'm here where's like our, our, where's the commitment and now now my heart's like now I'm like well and then my whole body is in like a trigger spot where I'm in like a traumatic response like now I'm like like I, it's like my breathing I can't like relax I'm completely yeah not present even worse so then this is the underworld experience. It's like, it's pretty a horrible place to be in this, when it goes to the point of that trauma, when it goes to the point of this like ultimate worst like punishment to me would be to be silenced or like, like silence, like, it's like, not heard, the voice doesn't matter. Yeah, that's going pretty deep. Um, 
it, just like something like the worst possible punishment. And then, mm. yeah. So now this person has punished me this badly. Like they've given me the worst possible treatment. They're withholding their love. So they don't even love me. And so there's no love and there's no love. And what I need more than anything in the world is just to know that this person loves me. Cause now I'm like, I'm so far gone out of, like I'm so deep in the underworld. And like my eyes are blinking. I'm barely in my body. It feels so traumatic. I'm out of my body even. Fuck. So uh, I'm back in the body. Um, so so this person's punished me. So now I I hate this person. Um, I hate them so much. And I hate the 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 what they represent. I hate all men. Now it's all of you guys. You're all together. And so my underworld experience that I am presently in, as of this morning, I woke up at 4:30 and I couldn't sleep. And I had I had fear, I had anxiety. It was like weird. <sighs> I tried to breathe through that. And then, yeah, I had incredible anger, but it was mostly fear, fear of men, fear of men, fear of men, fear and hatred towards men. And then in my underworld experience, I decided that I, I really loved that meeting with, with, with the three women yesterday. And that I actually don't want Jorge in it in my hatred towards him, I'm like, okay, so why, I don't have to quit this, this, this deep relating, but I can just do it with women. I don't want man in my team. And that was the final arrival into my underworld conclusion to survive this really traumatic experience. What, uh, that was the conclusion. Yeah, and at that point, I wrote a request for an EHP in the gr group for someone who uh, hates men and is doesn't want them on their team, and I'm requesting some rage around that. And it was sad. It, like, when I thought about even, like, like how would I oh it hurt Jorge. like that hurts me to hurt Jorge but this is how angry I am and this is where I've arrived to protect myself is that there's no men on my team Be because of this yeah that's the process yeah I think that's the darkest underworld I arrived at and when all we can, all I wanted was to be around man. Like that's all I wanted. Brothers, not even in a sexual way, just like which is what we want, like a team, like all like men behind me, like brothers, like like strong brothers. And we're just like, it's amazing. And it's not even like it's not about sexual energy. It's just like love, like love, trust. And then I went like oh, completely underworld with it. Mm. Yeah. How, what time are we at? Thank you. There is 50 seconds left. 50 seconds left? Okay. Mm -hmm. From 15 minutes. I can feel it with some grunge. F Sorry, what? 50 seconds? I, th I feel like that's that's really the core though like yeah I think I feel like I've shared the underworld <gasps> well there's more but I think that that is more like a conversation okay thank you Jorge that's 15 minutes uh, would you like to say what what was that that came up there there's a there's a I don't know if it's my underworld actually just a second.
Yeah, just part of my underworld is like going into regrets of like lost time or something. Mm. When when does that happen? A lot. I mean, like in in this process that you just told me about, uh, oh. does it happen at, at the end or after or a few days after or during it? During it, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like that. What is it? Cat gremlin cannibalism, probably. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Can I can I repeat back? Um, is is there? Yeah. I'm ready to repeat back. Mm -hmm. yeah because it might and in this it might bring up more like in that. Yeah. so yeah thanks yeah i hear you say that it, this journey into the underworld uh, that you had most recently it started with uh sadness uh, a loving sadness that you had that you wanted to share with with me and and the uh, when I didn't show up for it, I, I showed no available. You, you were trying to connect with me and that's what you wanted the most, that I would connect with you. Uh, and hear your sadness, hold space for your sadness. And when that didn't happen, when I didn't show up, um, it started turning into a, a, a different a different kind of sadness, a different, different, different feelings started coming and there was different stories that started coming about about man and the, the story of the that man that man don't show up in your life that uh, that um, uh, yeah that i cannot be trusted that uh, that i uh, was there that there was something before that there was like a, a progression there uh, <clears throat> and you try to reach out and and there was some communication that happened in that time Oh, and that, oh yeah, that there is this like 15 minute conversation that we had where you had all, all of these feelings that wanted that you wanted them to be heard. And I only had like this little, little time and capacity. Um, and uh, it, it created this uh, confusion communication, uh, like non-clear communication about what, what you wanted to create. And uh, then you were in the in a in a space where where you decided that you will take space for for our call on Thursday that that there was a, a time that we we had said to meet uh, on Sunday maybe and and uh, I didn't show up and and that they started turning into into anger that your your feelings started turning into into anger yeah i think when the thursday passed i think when the thursday passed because it was sunday you had said you would have availability i i feel like there was a turning point on the thursday because i was triggered in in room is in feeling like like that we had set apart that time a few weeks ago it felt so valuable to me and i was like i really was like wow i'm getting this like time this gift of time. And so I think subconsciously now I'm hearing this and I think after Thursday passed and we didn't do that like one hour weekly Thursday thing that we had said, I subconsciously, I think I started getting frustrated then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thanks. I just wanted to share that. Yeah, yeah, I hear you say that after, yeah, after that time, where we said there was this precious valuable thing of your of my time or of that we're gonna meet for one hour and that when it wasn't met mm -hmm. like started like to twisting and and, and stories started being made and uh, what was the word they used yeah. or like anger like did you say anger yeah i think it turned <laughs> started turning mm -hmm. Tur so turning from this like deep like lover energy that was like really creative into like started turning into anger yeah mm -hmm. yeah 
and I heard you say that uh, that after that, it, like after some time of that, and and uh, still not getting the, the space for a connection, that it started developing into this. Uh, uh, like for everything that I stand, I think that's what you said. That, that you start like uh, I you hating everything that I that 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 I represent, like including man, and and that you were in a space where you wanted to be surrounded by man, and being around man, and you were, and then it, it switched, and and it, you were like hating man, and you don't want man in your team. Man cannot be trusted. And uh, you made this decision that in your team with our three cell with with uh, the other two uh, women that you will like meet with them. But if I'm not there, or that that I don't need to be in the team. That I, you don't want me in the team. Um, and then that after that, after you went, uh, you got to that point. Um, you reached out in the EHP group and asking for a space, somebody to hold space for you about your hatred for men and men no one no wanting to have men in your team and not not being not not trusting men. Mm -hmm. Not trusting that they can hold space. Not trusting that they can hold space. And show up. Commitment. Commit. it's like and now I'm sharing it and I feel like my heart like now I'm hearing it and my heart like just jumped out and went like that like it hurt like it feels sad like hearing you say that uh, when you hear you say uh, the part about men <sighs> yeah, the part about you like not being in the team mm. or man, no man on my team mm -hmm. makes me feel really like, sad. Mm -hmm. And it also makes me feel safe. Mm -hmm. I can trust, like, oh, I feel safe. These are women and they know emotions and they know I feel safe. Mm -hmm. In my underworld, yeah, I, 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 yeah, there's just this doubt in it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, thank you for sharing. So I'm not feeling like the rage and anger that I was feeling before with it, but it's more like the sadness, like that I'm feeling, like it hurts. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's yeah. You know, so you, I hear you like bringing in this this journey that you went into, and it was uh, specific about this uh, underworld journey that we, you went into. Um, and uh, uh, I think. What I want to say, what I want to ask, like the question that I have is like, what? Um, can you speak about your your purpose of doing that? Like, uh, like, can you speak about the purpose of creating that? The purpose of of creating. Uh, I gotta just plug in my phone. The purpose okay. of creating. All of that journey. I, what's that? Yeah, all, all of that journey. The underworld journey? Mm -hmm. The purpose of creating that underworld journey was for me to get to the uncovering this unconscious feeling that I don't want man on my team because I don't feel safe with them. And so I'm going to sabotage or eat them up create a fight, create war, so that to kick them out, I'm going to get revenge and, and kick them out. And we're going to run the world with women 
and uh, we're gonna we're gonna instead of being burned at the stake, we're gonna castrate their balls, and we're gonna do it publicly too, probably. That's pretty harsh, hey? Mm -hmm. Yikes. That's vicious. Yeah, I think so. That's pretty horrible. It, it's just like, I'm trying to think of something as equally as painful as having my throat cut off. Or my 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 voice silenced. Mm -hmm. <sighs> it's like my place of power, my truth. So I'm trying to think of, of thinking of this really horrible thing. And so I'm gonna get a gang of women together to do it, which is really yeah easy. Yeah, you'll get like a gang of women to to look for the men that are in holding space for, for women and castrate them in public. Yeah. Punish them. Yeah, shame them mm -hmm. for what they've done. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank so, you. So, is there anything else here? <laughs> I just thought... That's it. I just, I just looked at you and I just, I like, are you, you're not that person? I like, are like, I just, anyway, <laughs> I just saw your like softness and I just snapped me out of the underworld, out of the under outer underworld. Yeah. Yeah. Is there? Yeah. Yeah. Um gosh, what do you do after you go through an underworld journey sharing and reflecting? Where do you go from there? Well, the distinction that's alive for me right now is that like the underworld is there at all time. Like it's not like it goes away or that that it disappears. Like it's there even now. And uh we're we're in three in those three worlds all at the same time, always. Okay. Um, yeah. yeah, if you can if you can own that, own that you have an underworld and uh uh then it creates this space where you, where you can put your underworld on the table. It's like this like it's like an like a, an an eternal source of, of life. It's a source of life. It's a source of creativity, it's a source of uh intimacy and that you can just keep putting it putting it on the table like you just can become more aware of it of what your your purpose is of what your on the world is doing mm -hmm. um yeah, yeah. right now I, I feel i feel scared of of being the, this teacher and like giving giving you the answer because that's a great question like what do you do after you go into a journey into the underworld um, what do you do yeah what do i do well there's things that come up for me is that um hmm. Hmm. like this part about this forgiveness like working this like healing like what do you do after that like so this brings up this question this 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 burning question I've been having and it and not from like a teacher like putting you as a saint that has the answer to this question but just as a person to person I'm curious because I am wanting to have a more conscious language and relating and I'm wondering why why not to say I'm sorry? You're wondering why why not you say I'm sorry? Yeah. I'm sorry for what? I'm sorry for I'm sorry for the pain that I have caused you, like something like this. Like when you're feeling so sorryful. Like when I'm feeling so like sorry for these 
feelings or I'm wanting to cause like have this healing with man how can I heal it so I want to do like I'm sorry I forgive you I love you thank you I want to go through that deep process of healing and I've heard you say it feels like that feels like in my body like I'm sorry I love you I forgive you Thank you. I can feel it moving through my cells. And so in that way, that using I'm sorry feels like, like a salve, like a healing tool. And I'm, I'm wondering, because I've heard you say, like I just, well, I'm seeking clarity from you. To help me with my confusion around. I say I'm sorry for something, and I, I've I've heard you say something like not to say it because I'll do it again. Yeah, I think what I say. Because uh, the way is, you, you you said it is like it's from a father figure. Don't say that thing. The, and it's not it's not like that. There is a, a like it reveals a purpose for me. For me, when I hear I'm sorry, it reveals a, a purpose that yeah, that it, it, that it, it's gonna be like don't that's it's gonna happen again. Mm -hmm. And it's. Uh, yeah it's like no uh, what do i say like like it's like the underworld is there uh, so you see in bringing clarity to the underworld like things change and like new possibilities emerge at least for me like i can see new doorways that i can see uh, new ways that that bring more clarity to to my relating with you mm -hmm. and what i want and what i don't want and what i've done before and and what and uh, the new possibilities that i have from from putting it all on the table. Uh, so I want yeah. Um, so I, I think the question is still there. Like, what what do you do after you go into an on, into an underworld journey? And um, yeah, for me, like I've been uh, I've been learning to you stay there, stay stay there. And, see see everything that, that's there available and uh, that I, I don't run away from it but I like I look at it and I see like that that's the part of me that I don't want to see something like that that's the part of me that I, I'm scared of seeing and that part right now like to me showing as this uh, a man or this being that coax women to be submissive and to be this docile this this part of you that what co coax women yeah yeah but I, I coax women and uh, uh to to be submissive and to be to listen to me or to have respect for me and to treat me like like uh like i'm uh, like i, I i'm uh, like i they have to listen to me, something like that. Okay. Yeah. And and if I don't put that in the on the table out there, like if it stays in the shadows, like it's a uh, it becomes part of like kind of like the sneakiness that I use in the back to to manipulate you to get what I want from you without even telling you. Mm. And uh, that's the. Uh, uh, that's the sneaky part that, that creates confusion uh, or that creates uh, the mess that, that I'm in relating in our relational space. Okay. Um, <laughs> and in a way, like, I don't, I don't need to, I don't feel like I need to say sorry about it. I don't need to say sorry for, like, that feels like, like denial, like I'm denying myself. If I say, and there is a there is an energy that comes with the sorry, or there is an energy of, of sorry of being uh, 
uh, remorse, like for example, there's an energy of remorse, which is amazing and it can be really, really healing. Mm -hmm. uh, and it can really be this like, like deep remorse, like I, I, yeah. I have like deep remorse for, for what I did and I cannot change it. And, and I learned that, or I don't know, like I'm, uh, uh, it's different than you saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry for hurting you, which is bullshit. It sounds to me like, like bullshit. I'm sorry. Like in that way, it doesn't, it doesn't like you have the transformational tool of the I'm sorry, or uh, like, I'm so sorry, or I'm, I feel remorse about what I did. And, and there is a, there is a difference. There is one, one of them is, is kind of like, me this lie, like a lie that we tell ourselves to, oh, I'm sorry, I won't do it again. It's like a, like a fake empty promise. Yeah. Uh, and the other one is like, I've, I've gone through the pain and suffering of, of doing what I've been doing in my own underworld. And, and uh, I see completely what I'm doing now. I see like all the way through, like every step of it, how I go from, creating the assumption that I created and creating the expectation that I created and then creating the resentment that I created and and how that that created my the like the underworld that I created and and, yeah. and then from from there from seeing that step by step and and walking it uh, consciously then new possibilities are, are open new possibilities open up mm -hmm. but, but before that the uh, like there's just keep walking it keep creating the pain creep creating the suffering uh keep the, the resentment the assumptions the, the expectations uh until until it's too much until the pain becomes too much mm -hmm. and i think at that time there is no no i'm sorry there is like uh, i don't know i don't know what there is at that time Mm -hmm. He's like doing something different. Mm -hmm. Um, I just want to do a time check so I can make sure that I like can cover any the other things I want to cover. Do you know what time it is? I can't uh, navigate. If I lose the screen, I might not figure out how to get it back. <laughs> yeah. And um, I. Yeah, there, there was. I wanna like go to this question of like, what do you do after uh, you go in an underworld journey? And just the, oh, yeah. that question is a life. That question is not to me. It's not like a like a dead thing. Like a, this is what you do. It's like um, like be being that question. And uh, and the, the thing is that if you run away from the underworld, that is you're gonna miss out. Uh, the underworld, the goal of the underworld, and it's gonna be like living into a, a fantasy world. Or, or it's all it's all love and light. It's all beautiful. It's like there is we live in those three worlds at the same time, all the time. Mm -hmm. Even even when you were telling your story, uh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm gonna stop the, this energy that I have right now. Oh, it paused for a second. You said, oh, I'm going to stop this energy that I have right now. And then yeah. it paused. <laughs> Did you say anything else? Okay. Yeah, in what I, what I was hearing you say when you were telling your story is that you were in the upper world and then you went into the underworld journey. Yeah. You were in a happy sadness, or like a like a Love. lower lower sadness, lower sadness, and then like you went into the underworld. Um, but even even in that in that part where there was like a lower sadness, that there is still an underworld that's active, and it, it just it just might be unconscious, mm -hmm. uh, and it might be acting unconsciously. But there is still a, a, a an, for example, yeah, there is still. There is still an underworld 
I don't know if you can like detect it. Can you can you detect it? When I'm in that like lover sadness. Yeah. yeah. Oh, let me just feel it. Okay, so I'm like oh, I'm feeling so open and I'm receptive and I'm like a oyster. I'm an oyster and I want to make love and I want to share this gift uh, and I'm like sad that 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 you're you're so far away and you're going farther and farther away and I'm I'm wanting to keep our connection strong and I'm, I'm hoping to I'm wanting to like oh yeah I want love all the time <laughs> mm -hmm. all of the time I heard that come up in the meeting something like that yeah you're wanting to keep our connection strong you want to love all the time yeah wanting to like make an intention to like yeah I just want to keep the love strong and alive and also wanting to share my fears with you. Can you um, notice, like, can you sense through, like any assumptions that you be, might be making at that moment? Any expectations that you might be making in that moment? Uh, that I want to share with you, my love, or expectations? That yeah, it has in this day, like you told, like, like you're open, you're you have like this like openness, and like you want to like share this love, and you want to make love, and you you feel sad that uh, that that this person is so far away, and that they're going even more farther away, and and you want to share this love, you want to keep the you want to keep the connection strong, you want to keep the the love strong and alive. And so is there expectations there? Yeah, I mean, like what I'm trying to say is if, if, if you can sense of where the underworld is at that, at that time, in that moment. Yeah, the underworld is telling me that he's not going to show up. Is that... Like, or the underworld is saying it only has, it can only be Jorge. Or mm -hmm. I want this connection with him. I can't fully sense it. Is this, is this landing as like an underworld thing? Uh, it's landing, yeah. I, I don't, you're saying that it's the underworld that, that's speaking. And, uh, yeah, I wonder what if there, what part of what part of you it is. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. It, it is landing what you're saying. Mm -hmm. What about this part? Like, oh, in the expectations, like that it, it can only be Jorge that fills the spot of the lover. Mm -hmm. I it, yeah, I yeah, I you you expect that it's only me. That, that can fulfill that part. Or I have a fear. Wait. No, it's not an expectation that it's only you. I want it to be you. I want it to be you. I have a fear of, 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 I have a fear of, of bringing in a new lover that it would go like, I have a fear of bringing, this feels so complex. I feel a fear of bringing a new lover like that. <laughs> that it, that in some way, like it would be, um, sever your, my connection that is so important to me. <sighs> And I have fear that it, it could like, 
that it would hurt you or that I would uh, fear that I need to, like, I want to talk to you about it, like, first or something, or I want to, I don't know how to navigate it. I don't know how to navigate it. Mm -hmm. And I, like, I have all this love or energy. It's so beautiful, like, it's like flowers and it's like it's like colors and it's like oysters and it's beautiful and it's like mine to share. And I like I want I want, I want to share it out like I'm so scared to open it up to another because I I, I want like I don't want it to, like, mean that I can't have you, too, or something. Mm -hmm. Or that it would hurt you, or that it would cause a disconnection between us. Yeah, I hear you. <clears throat> I hear you have this fear about opening your love to another lover because <laughs> you're scared that how it will like affect our relating our relation or relation channel space and uh, that your love is so full of like life and it's like flowers and uh, you're scared of that uh, with another person that that it will hurt me or that, it, that you don't know how to navigate uh, that yeah Mm, I'm scared that like I'll compare them to you. You're scared that you'll compare them to me. Yeah. That I'll miss you more. They'll feel like Yeah. Yeah. So there is this like big abundant love and energy inside of you. Uh, that you want to share, like it's, it's so much that it's not, it's, it cannot be contained in your being, like it has to come out. And the only recipient that it, it can come into is this other person, but it can be only that person. And, and when that person is not available, then, uh, then it, it changes the plan, like it changes like your plan, like there is. Uh, now there, there is not like there is no place to put this all of this energy yeah mm. oh. nobody wants this energy this energy is like going to waste like nobody's yeah. touching this energy right like there's no like container there's mm. no like there's no container for this energy like there's so much of it and like like, how can I, like, have it witnessed? How yeah. can it be witnessed? It's so beautiful. Like, how can I share it? Like, the oyster, like, the gift of this, like, this gift of this deep, deep sensuality and, like, this pleasure and how, and, and in my card I got, it said to share it. Uh, did you say to share it with one person? No. So you have like this, this, uh, this catch, catch 24. I don't know if that's what it's called, but like the, like, yeah, this person is not available. So you can go into the, like, it can go into something else. Like, yeah. so if it's not this, this thing that, that I want, then it's, it's gone. Uh, I'm not sure how to how to say it. Yeah. Maybe you can like sense more into it. Yeah. If this person, if, <laughs> so I heard you say, if it's this person, he's not there, and it, now and now this energy is gone. Yeah. And it did go, and I lost it for a little bit, but then I went and found it. Like for me, I do like self photography 
is a way for me to experience self-pleasure. So I like it's an artistic expression. So then I, I go, I find it again. I roll around in flowers and I have a mirror in front of me, which is my camera. And that to me is a container for myself to witness the beauty. So it is like, so I do that. Mm. Yeah. So that is, so then I care for myself in that way. And then I get, then I, then I get, fuck, yeah. And then I dwell on this one lover not being there <laughs> again. And then I miss what's right in front of me, which was there was a, a lover like potential this weekend that was right there. And I didn't see it till the very end of the weekend. And then I was like, oh, shoot. Oh, man, I wasn't in my lover, though, by the time that was happening, because I neglected myself so much. Like, I was like, you know, not in I was dirty. My car was a fucking mess. <laughs> I just felt like I had to go home and clean. So mm. I couldn't show up for that lover. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Or that potential lover. And then there's like this question of like oh like there's so much fear there like is that would that be a gremlin activity or love experience and but like the needs are like I need like a big hand on my like a big hand on my like I can't touch myself with that kind of masculine energy and so then I oh yeah I just like how can I like have a lover for like a moment in time without like completely falling in love with them and devoting devo devotions, devotion. <sighs> yeah, it gives you like yeah, this me this mechanism yeah, it sounds like a mechanism. It gives you the the perfect uh, situation for resenting man and hating man and and, and going into like self self neglect and self neglect. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, like hating the world, hating hating life, wanting to run away with just woman. But why I want the man? Like it's so. So the the hint is like maybe in this description that you're saying about uh, like wanting the man uh to to hold you like that like that that the hand the the masculine hand like uh just like pay attention like just keep an a part of your attention into what's your underworld doing there like what's your underworld's benefit. What what is your underworld wanting, and what what kind of expectations are created from <clears throat> from those from those needs, from those from those stories, from those, those expectations? Or mm. uh, yeah, I I saw them more like like a mechanism, like from that mechanism. Okay, um, can you like can you define the mechanism? Because I've heard this a few times. This this vocabulary word. Yeah, mechanism is like a like an automatic thing, something that happens automatically without your control. Okay. Uh, it's like a like a button that gets pushed, and then these these things happen. Ding 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 ding. Okay. Um. So in, in this case, uh, or I'll, I'll talk about my mechanism. Uh, and my my mechanism, for example, is like it was in. Re receiving the your text messages mm -hmm. and then like getting overwhelmed getting hooked to the first message and having no no other possibility okay. they are having no, no other possibility other than being hooked to the first message and then getting uh, the next message triggers me more the next message triggers me more and and going into this mechanism where uh, uh i'm not able to be present with you anymore I'm not even able to be present with myself, and 
and there is a yeah there is a benefit for my my box my survival mechanism to do that and right now like it's it's in this case is so of being of value like it, i associate myself like reading your message and responding to your message with being of value and if i cannot do that then i'm not of value and so i go into the i go into this place of devaluing myself and that I, i'm not worth it and that everything that i'm doing is a joke uh, everything that i'm doing is not worth it and and then i can i can allow myself to just drop drop everything that i'm doing and take a break from the responsibility of actually doing doing what i want to do <sighs> Uh, so that that's one example of mechanism. Right. Okay. So, so, um, thank you for letting me just just share this like recent experience with the lover and this energy, and um, because this is this is actually the conversation I was wanting to have with you on on like Friday, uh, or something or. That this was something that was emerging coming up was like I'm about to call in like a lot of men into my life and 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 and, and oh, like wanting just to share with you how that felt for me and and at wanting to know if like if that's like conversations that you're willing to sh to share with with me I guess like that that process yeah yeah i hear you. you you want you want to know you wanted to know if i want to be in that conversation that you're about to, to call a lot of money to your life and you wanted to have that conversation with me on friday yeah and yeah that that's like what was coming I mentioned like the lover's temple and intimacy and like a conversation around those things. Yeah. It was just like where I am at with that like experiment that we had a month ago. And then part of it, like part of it that was the transformational part, which is sharing with another, which is like the scariest thing for me. Oh, that feels like a story, but but yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this can all like be open. I just want to put it out on the on the table today. In this place of like yeah raw honesty. And we can, or I can, or you and I can agree or not to share more of this. That's so just to like make it clear, like for me, like I hear you, there is like, a, you're asking me without asking me or something. And this is the part that creates like really big on clarity. And, and I'm like, no, like this is like, no, like, no. I'm not not signing off for that. Like it, it creates like a place that we're like dragging from the past to create in in the present, and it okay. is not presence. It's not there right now. Is there um, an emotional like it's coming from an emotional creation, and it, it, the purpose of it is to continue perpetuating the the current shape of survival, like your current shape that you're used to surviving with, uh, and. And uh, yeah, like a, it's not like a clear, like a clear proposal of something that wants to be created. It's like dragging on this thing, this painful, very painful thing from the past, to to ah, oh, like oh, you know, create this thing, bring it to the present, yeah. and that that's kind of the purpose of emotional healing process. But it is not being created with that, with that, with that clarity. It's like uh, using the, the emotions to create the, the present. And, and that's what I, what I have been doing 
with my unconscious uh, activity or my unconscious behavior. And and that's what I'm like, no, no, no more. I don't want that. I don't want that. And so like, for example, like, like you're kind of like asking me if you can have other lovers or something like that. I'm like, what the fuck? That's not my business. I mean that that's really not my business. That that is we that's not we haven't agreed to that. Uh, we haven't agreed to creating that sort of intimacy between you and I. We haven't agreed that that you will discuss it with me if you have another lover. We haven't agreed that that I'm your only lover. Uh, we haven't agreed that that you're my only lover and that we're gonna discuss with each other when we have new lovers. Um, so like there, there is a purpose for it, for the the stories that are that are created uh, around it, uh, which is like usually like around disempowerment or like disempowering yourself. And yeah, so like like that's not my business. What you want to create, like go ahead and create it and tell me after something like that or share it with me after if it, if it's still alive for you. Uh, so my, my love is not conditional, like in a way that, that I'm going to hate you. If you have another lover, I'm, I'm going to like, like you say bye. And if you have another lover, like my love is there and, and it's not going to go away to anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. That's really nice to hear about that your love is I heard you say Are you okay holding space for this for a moment? Because <sighs> it is like it's... Uh... Can you say what, what this is? What... Like, What's up? I, I feel... A lot of like love. And like I feel receptive. And I heard... Like I heard... Heard your love for me. Be and I heard um that yeah that these conditions aren't on yeah it's like it, well I just feel like I just feel that love and that love is like. <laughs> cause like is is moving through my body in a really alive way of receiving love that maybe feels uh new for me yeah and so it, it's like maybe a first time that i've heard this And in in my sharing, I had a lot of fear because I'm trying. I, I I I I'm wanting to have this conversation with you, and I I didn't want it to come out like I was asking permission. Like that's like a daughter to father thing, or a god, like asking a god something, and and in this way, it feels really healing for me because. Of because it's like almost feels like a new like I don't want to call it religion but like a new way of being and it's a transformation that I um that I've never been this new for me yeah I hear you yeah I hear that this may be the, the first time that somebody say that to you and express that that love for you. 
and that their love uh, for me like wasn't gonna change because like it wasn't gonna change because I had a new lover and that um like I didn't yeah and then I tell you after or something or like I don't need to ask permissions oh, mostly it's just that your love wasn't going to change for me <laughs> mm -hmm. that's, that's what made me feel like but, yeah what I needed to hear That's the that's the healing self. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I, yeah. It like feels a lot in my body right now because like I feel all that in my cells. Like, like it's like new information. <laughs> Yeah, just let yourself feel that. Receive it, receive it. This, this is your love. This is yeah. This is yours. Yeah, I guess like agreement with myself. It's like old, 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 old programming. Like it's so old programming. Like coming out. Like so conditional. And like even like my attack emotion, like I'm the most like highly devotional person, like like the story around my like my knowledge around my devotion for love being so big. But blocking. Like that attachment to that story telling me that I'm betraying someone. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and like the thought of like, like making love to a new lover, and then like this thought that I would be betraying you. Yeah. Yeah, thank you for sharing that. I hear that there is some stories of that, but and fear about meeting a new lover and facing this story of of feeling the betrayal that you're betraying me to lover and that you're devoted to me. There is a, a an old story that you have about how big you are uh, about being devoted and how big is your love. Yeah, it's like my devotion to love is like feels so big. Like it feels like it's like the biggest thing I have to give. Like I'm like solely devoted that I like submit even. And if I can just like, yeah, it's like devoted to like love. <laughs> Uh, and I guess like that discernment that discernment is, is is what I I call upon I call upon it as a bright principle is to discern to know I love <laughs> and in that way I can share yeah I can share love and lover mm -hmm. and I'm hearing this question of what is love? And it can be so renewing, it can be so renewing. 
I don't know, like the, there is a, a way that love can be killed by saying, I know what is love and that's love and that's it. Uh, and it kind of like kills love. It puts love into a, 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 a box. And, yeah. and this, this question of what is love, it, it can really open up uh, a whole new perspective. Uh, like things that we consider that were love and, and things that we didn't even know that it was love. And I think that the underworld really gives a, a contrast, a contrast to what love is. And it's part of love. Like, I don't think that the underworld is devoid of love. So I think it just gives it a contrast and it makes it very real and it makes it um, really deep. Uh, cool and uh, I mean, really feel deep. <laughs> yeah. Yep. And I feel that I, like I like have a lot of questions and like and those questions don't need answers but like just like I have these questions or and so yeah these questions don't need answers but also I welcome the answers of other people's like thoughts and feelings on it on love and removing barriers to love and unconditional love mm. Um, cool, there is something alive right now and, uh, that I want to share with you. And I, I think we're coming up to, to the end of our of our meeting. It's 7.10. Okay. <laughs> I just knocked myself in my face. Mm. Don't lay upside down on a phone call. <laughs> so I, I just... There I am. Um, I, I talked to Lance a few days ago. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and uh, with this uh, proposal to invite him to collaborate on the collaborate on the YouTube channel for Culture Caravan. Beautiful. And he, he was really turned on by it. And he shared with me a channel of a woman. I can't remember her name right now. Uh, and she, she does something similar to what he started of uh, interviewing strangers. And her, I think her, her channel is called Strangers Answer. And I, I, he sent it to me after we finished our call and I started checking out this channel and it was so amazing. Uh, like she, she just goes, I, so I, she has produced a lot of videos recently and I went to the beginning, like what happened at the beginning of this channel. So I saw her, her very first videos. And I think one of the first videos in her, when she started interviewing strangers, was uh, with this question, what is love? Huh. And she went on the street uh, asking strangers, what is love? And, and then she put it together in this video. And I think from what I could see is that this was really her question. She was like, really, like, she really wanted to, to ask the world and ask strangers, what, what is love to them? And she captured this thing on video. I didn't watch the video, but it's there. Maybe I'll share it on the. I'll share it with you when when we finish the call here. But yeah, it, it was like this really big inspiring thing about like connection with others, connection with strangers, connection with with the world that you are connected at all times, and that these lovers are out there and sex. And like even like touch is one one way of it, but like there's so much in between uh, of like that you can meet a somebody a lover that you might not make love to them, you're not might not be intimate with them, but there is so uh, yeah there is so much in between uh, that 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 can that can happen and so much space for uh, for connection and intimacy. Uh, in strangers and with others, I, I think that this this video really taps into it. And this mission from Lance to connect with strangers is like really like 
Oh, it's like the, the manifestation <laughs> of it. And I was, Love it. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll share that video with you. And it's really, really in, in, inspiring. And, um, yeah. and really, what I think what she's doing is she's bringing her question, the question that she's seeing, like, what is this thing? What is this thing that, that I want to know? Um, what is love? I think for Lancy will be like, what is home? And like bringing these questions to the strangers and like, uh, like really asking them, holding space for them. Like, can I have an interview with you? I'm making these videos and make an interview with them. Wow. Uh, it's healing. Like, it, like when I saw the people in the video, they're crying, they're just sharing their deepest vulnerabilities and it, it all happens like that. Like, there is not like all of this waiting and like drama and like all of these things and the, the conditionals. <laughs> there is not like, it's just like, goes into this extraordinary space he creates it she holds the space for it she records it she makes a video about it and, and then she i think she moves on she's a traveler wow <laughs> i love it i love it i love it when i was a kid i wanted to be a news reporter and i would record myself like as a kid all the time talking and mm -hmm. in and be on the mirror and do recordings and um I love it and I heard you say she's a traveler and for me right now like I'm not traveling and but I I want to be all the time traveling so it's a way of traveling through like putting on a backpack like Uncle Matt from the Fraggle Rock and you put on a backpack and I'll just pretend that I'm traveling and go and interview people I love this inspiration mm -hmm. brings aliveness to me thank you for sharing that yes thank you and um okay sweet we'll share that afterwards and i i, I do have a, a, another brief question did you listen to my recording of the blue heron that showed up at sax point uh no no okay there's like a distinction there that i learned about and i think we're over our our our, our time right now so I could share it at a la later time with you or something we can share it later I uh the no, point sounds, is I'm a no to that no. Like, oh no to that it sounds yeah like it went into this we that I'm like no um did I say we uh yeah yeah and like it creates like this like future self or like future fuzzy promise that then if I don't guess what you were trying to say, then uh, it creates like this conflict in the future. And, and I'm like, I'm saying like, no, I, I will say let, let's close this space and, and, uh, and create, create a new proposal from there. Okay, sounds good. When, I, when I, it's clear. Yeah, thank you for that distinction. I appreciate that because it would have resulted in an expectation. It's like a, yeah, very unclear. Okay. The part about it, the reference was just with with what I was sharing about the the love and the the miracles that like when you hear someone say those words, these like affirmations of love, like how it holds and contains space. And so I want to thank you for saying that in the moment because. Like it just something felt safe for me just to go into that full place. So that just happened. <laughs> okay, let's close this space. Alrighty, thank you, Serena. Thank you, Ray. I feel more shiny now. Alrighty. I love you. Thank, thank you. you. Bye for now. <laughs> Bye for now. Mm -hmm. Wait.